Hi again, this is 3D Modeler on YouTube and as and I assume that you have watched the two previous tutorials on how to make a model in 3ds Max. So now we are getting to the very interesting stuff to how to create a model in 3ds Max. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a new scene by going to files up here and press new. And no, I don't want to save the changes. And everything in here is, uh, I'll have all new, and a new all, and I'll press OK. As you can see here, I get everything clean, but the perspective view is one that's maximized, so I'll just go down here in the bottom right corner and click the button there, so I get everything nice and... Uh, I get the four viewports that we have from the beginning, and I'll go down here. Just above that button is a box with four viewports in it. This will uh, set everything to zero in all viewports and I'll just press that button and you can see here that everything is nice and what we had from the beginning. So so now I'll start by creating a small man in, uh, and I'll do this by making uh, a box modeling. It's called box modeling because you model it from a box. So I'll just go ahead here and create the box like so. So now we have the box and now I'll go ahead and transform the box so that it looks more like a small man. And I'll actually do this by going to the perspective view and I'll click the perspective view, right click anywhere in the perspective view. And as you can see here I get this yellow line around it. This shows me that this perspective view is selected and I'll go here, down here, right corner again to maximize the view. So as you can see here we have the box in the scene as we did before on the other tutorials and what I'll do now is I'll go to the box object uh, uh, object modifier and I'll right click the object and convert it into an editable poly. So now we can uh, transform the vertices and the faces of the box so and I'll go ahead here and I'll select the whole box and I have nothing uh, selected in the selections uh, drop down here. And I'll just make it smaller, thinner, and like so. So now you can see it's it's basically this high box here, and this is much easier to work with um, when we're doing a man. So what I'll do now is I'll probably make it smaller, and I'll move it up a bit, like so. So and. To center the camera on the object, I have it selected right now. I go down here, and there is a in the lower right corner of of the screen is a box just to the left of the one with with the small box and the four viewports. And I select the box it, it's instead. And then as you can see, I have the box uh, selected, and I rotate around the box rather than the bottom of the viewport right here. So I go below the box. And I go to the selection and select the one that is select the faces. So now I can click it, and as you can see, I select the small square here. And I'll just control click on all the other, like so. So this will basically be my legs. Now, in this uh, menu here, I'll just move it up a bit and select the one that's uh, called extrude. This will allow me to extrude from the faces. And it's um, it selected it nice and tight here. I click it and move the mouse again. That's for the lower knees, and once again, and this will be my feet. So now I'm going up again. As you can see here, uh, to move this up and down, you will have to hover over it, and there will uh, appear a hand as the icon, and you can drag it up and down. So I'll select the vertices selection tool again and I go in here and I'll select these four here and I'll just move these in a bit like so and actually I'm going to undo that by pressing control C on the keyboard and I'll select all of them like so I select the scale tool and scale those in a bit like so this is looking very strange right now but don't worry it will get better 
and I'll select the move tool instead and move this in and I basically do this to make um, my feet and everything else on the model I'll move these in and I'll move this up and move these out oh I need to select all of them oops I can see here that I this wasn't the way I intended to so I'll press control C on the keyboard to get back to where we had before and I'll actually go and extrude these rather than edit the polys uh, the vertices sorry and I'll extrude those like so and I'll select the move tool and as you can see here I can move them like so so here are my feet and my lower body of the object and I'll just keep on modeling this can bit, get a bit boring so bear with me here for a second so now we get our, the feet of our model here and I'll go to the top here and I'll select the four vertices that is right on top of it. Now, as I mentioned in the previous one, you can uh, click somewhere and drag it. And as you can see, you select the vertices behind or below the body. To, to make this easier to select any given vertices that you have in the viewport, you can click this small ignore back facing. This will, as it says, uh, ignore the back facing vertices so I only select the one that's on top and this one is a bit off so I need to deselect those and I'll move this up like so and now I'm going to add the arms and I'll select it on both sides control click and I'll select the extrude again I'll extrude these and I'll extrude these a bit more and once more again so now we got the arms of our small man here and I'll go ahead and select everything like so I unclick the ignore back facing. I'll just move these up very quick, like so. So, and now I'm going to drop this down. And I'm not going to select those, like so. And I'm going to select those, going down. So his arms is on the side more. So now you can see we have his arms. So now I'm going to create the head, select the one here and I'll select extrude and then I'm going to select extrude once more and select the scale tool and select the, the small um, as you can see here in, on the scaling tool we have um, like these three um, corners here the one in the middle will select everything in it and this one will only scale in the direction that it covers so this will be out and so and I'll extrude it once more and once more and I'll scale it in on top so now we got the head on our man and I'll just move make these a bit larger I'll just select everything and scale it up so that it fits better and move it up like so so as you can see we got the the small man here. So this is basically how you model in 3ds Max. Um, I know this doesn't look <laughs> like a man very well, um, but don't worry, we can we'll get to that later. Sorry, I just press Control X there for a second. This is the advanced editors mode or expert editors mode. So, so that basically covers how you can build and edit a man in 3ds max this is 3d modeler on youtube thanks for watching